Happy Friday, pretty weekend. God is so good. He is so faithful to all of us to see another day. We are in Deuteronomy 31. And because today is July 26, I started off with Psalms 26 and 30 thereafter, which will be 56. Quick testimony. So I woke up and the Lord was like, Michelle, you are going to do some major home renovating projects, you know, like replacing the outdoor carpet on this porch and remodeling this. And I was like, Lord, you know, this is a daunting task. He said, do not fear. I'm going to make the way so clear for you. So I'm coming from hardware stores, Menards, Ace and everything. The Lord cleared the path where the outdoor carpet was on sale clearance. Um, even the cutter, right? The razor blade um, tool. Uh, he gave me favor with the salesperson. He was like, you know, I sense that you're a nice person. Hooked me up with so much. And of course, you know, rebates and the Lord just cleared the path. Then I went to Ace. And I don't know if you ever got a screen replaced, but it usually takes three weeks for it to be repaired. The guy said, yeah, I sense that, you know, you're different. You're a nice lady. Smile. I'm going to do it right then and there, right now. Ten minutes. Ten minutes versus three weeks. Oh! And then another worker at Ace was testifying. He saw me reading my Bible because I was trying to prepare for this. And he gave me a testimony and how the Lord in an instance uh, opened the Bible to a scripture that dealt with a situation that he was going through. It was about a lost dog and caring for a dog and returning the dog. But the thing about it is the Lord orchestrated, he prepared. And what does this have to do with Psalms 26? Well, uh, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. That's verse seven. Uh, I started a blog. The Lord told me to write um, a paragraph every night of the wondrous works of the Lord, his hand in relation to um, the Bible and the occurrences during the day. So I'll um, later on uh, post that, attach that um, link. But the Lord wants us all to publish and to tell of the wondrous works of his hand. And when I first approached this project and he said oh i got so many many projects for you because this is an old house and um i would call contractors and they're so busy trying to work on their big jobs and hustle lord said i will show you i will teach you i will guide you the holy spirit is the revealing factor he will teach how to do all this stuff now i'm not touching electric or plumbing work but in Psalms 56, 3, and this was reiterated, I heard the scripture after I read it this morning. It says, what time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Hallelujah. And God, I will praise his word. And God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. So this is one way I think this is a daunting project. You might have something that you are like feeling overwhelmed. God will show you how to break it down. Yes, he will. We're in Deuteronomy 31. This is talking about how Moses was 120 years old and he was nearing his death. It was imminent. And he was like, I'm not going to go to the promised land. Right. And this is in verse one. And he goes on to tell the Israelites to be strong. Right. And verse eight. Ah, and the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Therefore, fear not, neither be dismayed. You're talking about a BFF. I just gave some words with BFs, but that's BBFFF, right? And that's what the Lord would do in every circumstances that we find ourselves. It might be like, oh my goodness, but guess what? He will be with us. He will go before us. Don't you know that the Lord cleared the path for all the hearts to be, you know, so kind to me at Menards, at Ace, at the dollar store, everybody. Oh my goodness, I saw a young man who graduated from Limbloom. My goodness, uh, in the dollar store and just, you know, had a kind exchange of words there. Lord, just clear the path, clear the path. He will go before thee, he'll be with thee. He will not fail thee. You won't get an F, you get A's with the Lord all the time. We might not understand the direction that he'll take us, but he will be with us. He will not fail thee, neither, neither forsake thee. No fear here, honey. No dismay. 
all is well, peace, enjoyment, and you're going to see, and I'm going to give a testimony of what the Lord will do because we're listening to the Lord. And I know you're going to listen to him for the rest of the day. All right. Have a wonderful day in the Lord and enjoy his presence evermore.